Female lawmakers at the state capitol say they are angry and frustrated about the possibility of Roe v. Wade being overturned. And after Republicans spoke out in support, Democrats made their voices heard today. CBS 46's Haley Mason, she joins us live at the state capitol with Haley, their calls for action. Sean, the women Democratic lawmakers here at the state capitol say this issue is about them and it's up to them to take the lead. They argue that Georgia cannot afford to place more restrictions and limits on women's health care in the state. If they are not performed, oftentimes women will die. They will die. Georgia's House Democratic women lawmakers giving passionate stories of how overturning abortion rights could hurt Georgia women. We don't yet have enough clinicians across our state to even deal with the impact that will infect them. They say Georgia, a state where women's health care is already lacking, will have uniquely detrimental results if Roe versus Wade is overturned. We know that there are 79 counties with no OBGYN in Georgia. Representatives Park Cannon and Shea Roberts Roberts are just two of the women lawmakers sharing their stories of having abortions. Roberts says her fetus was diagnosed with a severe condition and she was told it would not live. Essentially, my pregnancy would end with my, the death of my child, either stillbirth or my baby living a very painful, short life. She says abortion for her family was a devastating but necessary reality. I am sharing my story because I need the brazen politicians, including my Republican colleagues under this gold dome, to know that their actions will kill people just like me. This side of the debate comes after state Republicans spoke out Friday in support of Georgia's heartbeat law, which bans abortion after six weeks. This passed by one vote. It was an honor to be in the committee to fight for it. The Republicans expressed staunch support for the reversal of Roe versus Wade, believing all lives from conception should be spared. Y'all, the heartbeat bill means that in Georgia, we will save 20 to 25,000 babies every year. And the Democrats tell me they fear that Governor Brian Kemp may call a special session this summer or fall to try to enact more strict abortion laws if Roe v. Wade is overturned and those decisions go back to the state. Now, I reached out to the governor's office about this. They did not confirm or deny that uh, fear or that rumor, but they did say that Governor Kemp has been and remains focused on defending Georgia's strong pro-life legislation, the strongest in state history against legal challenges, and he's committed to keeping Georgia a state that values life at all stages. Reporting live outside the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Still ahead